Hello and welcome back, I'm Bebo Joe and this is Construction Simulator. Today I want to answer a very simple question. What does it take to make half a million credits in one contract? You may have noticed I did not return this piece of equipment yet because I remembered from last time I said I want to do the contract that is another road thing. Now, because it is so much bigger, I don't know what it entails, but I really want to do it. So. Uh, let's try this one. Let's see. Is there... Oh, hey. yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> and as you can see, only the middle piece moves and the bottom piece too, but it doesn't tell you... doesn't really tell you what's different. Um, but to me, it means you have to probably move more material, which means a bigger truck may be helpful, but that's all fine. Three qu more... 844,000 credits. Flatbed crane, we have one of those. <laughs> this will be exciting. So let's get, what is this? Transporting just a large container, that's interesting. Um, stop being distracted, okay. Jump on your steed <laughs> and bring it somewhere. I think I can fast travel you to to some places. I, I don't know what to do with you yet, right? No, I don't. So we're gonna turn this around and once I get to my actual um, uh, uh, noble steed, I will, I will figure out where we have to go. Waste wood, dispose of waste, dispose of rock. Okay, so we have to pick up something. Got it. Wonderful. I parked our two little rollers over here, hoping that we're going to use them, and I'm pretty sure that we will. And now we can finally head out on the road, on the road again, and see what they need us to do. Stop signs. Stop signs are not there for a real reason. We know that. So let's get there. Of course, it's night again, because how else would you play this game? I, I do think the, the day cycle moves by a little fast, but it's probably okay. Since it's in a city, it doesn't feel like it's as dark as it could be. So it should be okay. I look, do like that the cobblestone gives you a little bit of a, of a sound effect to it, so that's that's nice. Nice little add-on. Now what we have here, we have a bunch of rocks. <laughs> I'm just moving the rocks literally from A to B. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Um, let's see, I need work mode. Very good. I would like a lot more lights than what we have here, but I don't think that's really... <laughs> look at all those! It's just like, um, just pick all of that up, please, and thank you. How do I... By no, no, okay, yes, there we go. Now you're playing ball. No, that's playing ball. Wonderful. It, it's it's really it's it's really nice, but that's gonna take a minute. Oh, this is a little lame. The game makes you actually puzzle these in. They have to go in the right location. Um, I don't think I approve of that, but okay, that's fine. Well, that was easy. Now all we have to do is use the same vehicle and get a bunch of stuff. But don't worry, it's almost daytime. So we need pallet of wood, pallet of wood beams, steel beams, and excavate the trench. So we need an excavator out here. Yeehaw, new vehicle. And we have to bring a bunch of stuff over there. It feels like the best path would be to get an actual lorry, uh, then rent an excavator, bring it out here, dig out the trench, and do something with those materials. Where do I get those materials from, you might ask? I don't know, pallet of wood, all that stuff? What, what is this? This is industrial estate. Um, Prefabricated wall factory. That doesn't sound like everything that I need. <laughs> that doesn't tell me what it is. There's gravel here. Are you gonna make me find the correct construction material thingies? That'd be lame. I think I can find some material here. Building material dealer, that has to be most of it. Let's set this path and uh, see, <laughs> apparently I can get through there, and see, um, yeah, what's on the other side, but probably the excavator is next. Ah, look at that. I found a different building material dealer. Just the GPS gave me a shortcut to drive through here, so maybe I can get everything I need from here and don't have to drive all the way to the other place. That would be very, very helpful. Um, oh, nice. Yes, I need two of those, many of those, many of these apparently, some of this, some of this. I know I don't have to deliver all of these at this point in time, so... 
Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. Go back. I need just two pellets of wood, two wood beams, and two steel beam. Okay. Let's do this right. Uh, how do I remo remove everything? No. Gosh. You let me clear. Let me clear the whole thing. I will forget the things that I actually am supposed to get. So you're not you're not very helpful game right now. I didn't see PvP pipes. I know that pallet of woods for sure, steel beams for sure, and wood beams pretty sure. I'd be surprised if um, this fits onto my little thing, but that's fine. I could deliver it for 1300, but that's lame. Deliver to warehouse, that's different. Uh, yes, I would like to get this stuff done. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> how bad could it be? Um, it won't fit. Okay, but how bad can it really be? Let's back up a little bit. If we're lucky... Yeah, none of these materials can be picked up via... Um, what is that third one? I don't know what the third thing is. Oh! Oh, this reminds me! There is... Oh gosh, I can show you this. Uh, let's bring these guys down. That's not what I wanted to show you. But you can actually stack these guys. That is, that is a little exciting because that means... Even this little warrior can hold a lot of stuff. Come on. Come on. Do do the thing. Do the thing. There you go. No, just, just open up. There you go. That's the thing that I want you to do. And then I guess we do the big one first. Um, they're actually stacked or they're actually organized pretty, pretty nice for this. Let's get the big one there. I would like to say I'm getting sufficient at this, but I'm not sure if that's if that's adequate to say. Let's see. Let's throw you over here, pull you in a little more. I'm gonna count that because I'm just gonna make it worse. Uh, okay. It's I, I do wonder if there are some game modes that make that whole loading, unloading, approximation thing a lot harder. I have not played with that. I am a noob. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I would like to get this all done, please. That's that's really what I'm going for here. So let's see. No, I don't want to stack that there. I would like to stack this here. And you just want me to go down, down lower? <sighs> yes, that is, that is perfectly fine. Uh, okay, two more wood... Two more pellets of wood, please. And then I don't know what that stuff is that's sitting there. And there are three of them. I don't... I definitely don't want to pick up three things right now. So, uh, you're going to have to wait. Ah, no, 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 no. I was doing so good. I was doing so good with all the directions and everything. And now I'm, I'm screwing up all my controls. That's all right. That's all right. Pull you back. Go there. Nice. Yes. No, I, I can appreciate the stacking thing. That's something Farming Simulator, for example, can't do at all. It's just like... Oh, you would like to you would like to stack two pellets on top of each other, which is totally reasonable. Um, no, no, you you, you can't. <laughs> but but please, no, you can try, but then everything's going to end up in space, and nobody wants that. So there you go. They they're doing something really nice here. Yes, right there, right there is exactly what I want. No, I'm not messing with bringing this crane back to where it was before. That's just lame. And as far as I know, this is all. Um, tied down. I guess not. I, d I don't think it falls out of these guys once it's like, once it has that green confirmation, put it here, thingamajig, everything should be fine. Now, I need to get rid of the marker. How do I. I don't see a good way to get rid of the marker. I. No. No. Yes. Put a marker here. Oh, I just set a new marker, obviously. Okay. Now get out of here. We're gonna unload this quickly, and then I want to get an excavator. And yes, we're not gonna drive an excavator all the way out here. That's just silly. What would be lovely is if there was a dump everything right here scenario for this, but obviously it's not a thing. Okay, they do look the same. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was the same, but they are. Why am I this far away from it? Um, don't, don't, don't do it. Just, just park, park better. You, you can do this. You, you've driven a truck before. No, you haven't. You have driven a larger vehicle before. Um, it was still a car. It was a it was a pickup truck, but it wasn't a real car. Okay, um, just do this. It's, it's fine. Just um, maybe there. Uh, change mode? Yes, this should be fine. Yeah, that's good. That's good enough. 
I could have backed up a lot more, but I'm 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 eager now to get this right. I mean, to get this done. I should I should know what the what the dang stick positions are at this point, but I really don't. Okay, unload. Okay, so, so far that's easy enough, now I don't have to drive the whole truck back anymore and I can just get a lorry and I have to figure out where my, uh, where my trailer is <laughs> because I, I think I remember, yeah, that, let's find a lorry and we have a little bit of money so it may be beneficial to just go to the store, the store is somewhere up here, are you the store? You are the store. Enter this guy, then sort by something useful, find a lorry that we can get behind. There is one with crane. Oh, that, that one's with crane, that one's also with crane. I I like the, the Europeans, I talked about that before, so for a thousand more, no, for two thousand more. Interesting. Look what the purchase price is, and then look what the uh, like sales price is. This one is confusing must have something very special going on with it. If you have a crane, you don't have a crane, you don't have a crane. No crane, no crane, no crane, but 125,000. Um, honestly, I have some money right now. I don't see a good reason not to. Um, and if it's just for, you know, not having to try to find my trailer again next time, that's probably good enough. Vehicle fleet, I just purchased you and I need to find out where this guy is. But we'll, well it'll be fine, everything will be fine. I was hoping it would tell me where this thing is sitting right now. It doesn't. So I have to guess where I left it. I think not company stuff. I don't I know it's not here. There was there was a park that I built that I think was somewhere Oh, it's it's next to the backhoe loader. Okay, so let's get let's get here and then hopefully find my trailer. And then we can get an excavator, and if the excavator is not ridiculously expensive, we can maybe even buy one. That'd be fun, right? Hey, it was just day. It was just... Oh, when you fast travel, the time goes by faster. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So if it's really late at night, I could just say, never mind, buddy. Where's my trailer? Where's my trailer? <laughs> it's not here. It's not here at all. Now you make me nervous. Do I... There should be something that tells me where my stuff is on here, right? So, locations, construction machines, yes. I have the flatbed crane there, very good. I have a two of these things, okay. The trailer is sitting right behind me. See, that wasn't a problem at all, I should have just found that before. Um, can you turn on your lights, please? You're irritating, thank you. Do, 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 do. I don't think the interior of these machines is that exciting to look at, and I currently have the mirrors off just because of um, rendering. So there's not much here, and I just uh, I prefer the inside if you were curious to see that. You can turn the mirrors on, and it works really well if you don't record, but that's not the luxury that I have right now. So, oh, it's a red trailer with a red truck uh, tractor. Totally, totally did that on purpose. Let's turn this cam. Why? Why? Don't like that it did that, but that's fine. Yep, I did that perfectly the first time. I am not surprised at all. Let's park you where you're useful. Why are you so far away? I just want to be... Honestly, I just would like to be in... Closer to where the truck is. <laughs> it's, it's looking too way too close at the trailer. Um, oh, red light. Yeah, like, eh, should I wait? One, two, three, no. <laughs> Not happening. Uh, there you go, 400 bucks? Yeah, that will get stuff done faster. I don't know if there's a, a tally that the game takes of how many tickets you've gotten throughout your career. Let's, let's use that word. That's, that's a funny word for this. So, uh, there's that. <clears throat> All right, Trucky, this is where you stand, then get the ramp down, and if you get out, ramp down. The ramp should just do the thing. That's unnecessary. 
You, you don't have to hold the lever down the whole time. Just push the button. That, that should be more than sufficient. Uh, you. Enter. Yes. I would like an ex. I could excavate, obviously, with my back hole if I really wanted to, but that just sounds terrible. And um, we have this one, 250,000. We can definitely not afford that. I would guess that these are effectively the same. This is a full-size one. This is looks like a full-size one, and these all look a little smaller. That one looks smaller, so <clears throat> we're just going to go with the big one, or with what looks to be the big one at this point, and go from there. Yes, that definitely looks like a big excavator. <laughs> uh, much bigger than my backhoe. I like it. Okay. Let's see, I do this thing. Oh, honestly, I was hoping for a second that I will be able to fit multiple vehicles on the trailer, but looking at it now, I know that that's not the case. But we are definitely not trying to drive this thing out to the construction site because that will take until tomorrow and we don't have time for that. Okay, um, do that, yes, and then back up a little bit, try to not mess up too bad. And I will hope that the trailer will accept close enough and then just um, lock everything down. I don't know if it's going to work. I think my tracks, and honestly, I think my alignment right now is pretty much perfect spot on. I haven't done anything as close to that good before, but you never know. That's good enough to me. I, it doesn't look like it should be able to close that. Whoa, dude, lady, just calm down. What's that? Secure release. Vehicle can't be fixed. Invalid loading area. Um, excuse you? I guess if this is the thing that we need, then this is the thing that I will try to use. Kind of annoyed by that because none of these tell me they're better or worse, but this one has a lot more wheels, so I'm guessing this is the right one. I will purchase this one. Uh-huh. Then I will try to sell my other one. I don't know if it let me, lets me do that right now. Sell. Only one. That's 30,000. That's cute. Operation currently are possible. There's still a vehicle in the loading area. Yeah, but you don't accept the vehicle in the loading area. Have you thought about that? There's the, the big trailer. Gosh, I have to move this whole thing around all over the place and have to hook up the... Every... <laughs> Not happy about this. <laughs> I'm not happy about this one bit. Oh yeah, please, please get stuck. Um, lame. Oh, at least it's now it's at least right behind the the thing that I wanna that I wanna get on. So that's camera. You are driving me mad. I mean seriously. Um, you go here. You decouple. And then please don't tell me that because it is um, currently with the with the thing down, you can't sell this. Sell it. Cool. All right, multi-trailer. It's up to you now. I hope I don't need to get... Oh gosh, reversing is just too slow. I hope I don't have to connect anything fancy to those ramps. Um, but we'll see. We'll find out. I don't know. I have no idea, but big trailer apparently is what we need. Now it's green. So it doesn't match our uh, fancy little tractor anymore, but I guess we, we can survive that. Um, do the thing. <clears throat> yes, that's totally how that looks. Yes, and those ramps are a lot smaller than the ramps that we were just using, but at least they look like they're like a... What is it? 20 mil steel? Just thick, thick old steel plates? Yeah, they will do something. They will make something do. I wonder if the other trailer that had a little gap in the back would have worked because usually what I see is that big excavators like this are... Not even talking to me. It's showing me the button, like taunting me, but it's not saying if it's doing anything. Um, usually I see the big excavators just having the boom <clears throat> come out between the, the wheels and that's it. Secure release. What are you? I'm gonna say now it's released. <laughs> that's that's as good as it's gonna be. Uh, now camera, and I think this this will be this will be something. Getting out here. That's the place with the big old trailer. 
<laughs> no, we're not fast traveling this thing. Where's the fun in that? I would like to have my view concentrated on the tractor, not on the trailer, if, if you don't mind. Oh boy. Well, at least this thing is not going to I was going to say it's not going to fall off, but the trailer definitely just bottomed out a little bit there. This is a long, long trailer. This is just... At least it's heavy. <laughs> Excuse me. Trying to not pay the $100 fine. Thank you. Yep. Coming through. This is way too far away. Oh, sorry. Um, this was the problem. And apparently, it just started moving for no reason. Oh, when you hit X, it's like a... Not a... Not a timeout, but it slows down everything, so when you get out of the context menu, everything speeds up for a little bit. Um, seems unnecessary. Gosh, this is... Give me... I want the upper view. Um, I don't know that there are any other buttons. K is the only button that changes the camera angle, really. Then there's the right stick that just changed the distance, but we're already way too far away. Excuse me, coming through with a big old excavator. At least I own the trailer now, and I only have 142,000 money left, <laughs> so that's excellent. But uh, at least I can keep the lorry and the trailer together now. Oopsie. I'll tell you what though, at least the damage level on those little cars is pretty minimal, but the damage level on, you know, street signs and such is pretty big. Let me, let me through. Get out of my way. This trailer is ridiculously big for this city, and no, honestly, why, why do I have to steer it from back here? I, I don't care about back here. I want to see where I'm going with my with my lorry. Everything else really doesn't matter that much. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Stop complaining about it. Okay, I will. We're almost there. We're almost there. Just a couple more cars. I mean, a couple more dings. I mean, um, turns. Turns. A couple more turns. Yes. And then we should be good. Now we can park here on this freakishly wide um, sidewalk. Great break. Uh, I did that. I did that really good. Do the ramp. We can do this. I think I can just reset the thing because driving this up is probably going to be painful. But let's see. Reverse. Do it. It's not moving. Uh, okay. Click the button. You should at least be able to tell me that something is secured or not. I what? Okay, it's not secured anymore because I can't get in. Oh, now you're moving. Um, oh! <laughs> it looks like it forgot to uh, complete the thing of, you know, un <laughs> un un undoing the, um, the ramps. That's fine, no pro Camera, you are- no! No, not even a little bit. Go, go play somewhere else. Now we have to dig a trench out of here, and that has to be done in a good fashion. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with the dirt, but I hope I can leave it where it is. <laughs> Excavate trench. That's all it says. So I should be able to do whatever I feel like doing, and I may even do this from the cockpit. All right, let's say this is the place to be now. Okay, that's that beam. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this this feels quick and um, good, good. Yep, beam out a little more, that's good, that's good. Ignore the sounds, they are supposed to be that way. Dig. The shovel is going back a little slower than I wanted to. I don't know why, but that's okay. Up, over, dump. Okay, looks like we didn't get everything that it wanted there, so let's try that again. This view is great. The only thing this game doesn't let me do is actually play with a real joystick. I tried it. I tried to play with two joysticks because that's how these machines actually work. But no dice, not allowed to, can't. It's not even counting this. <laughs> Should I be? Should be nervous. I'm excavating the trench. Is this not the trench? How much do I need to excavate? Let's see. There's a button that tells me something. Is it this one? There's a lot to excavate. Okay. Honestly, that is not a problem. I just have to go a lot deeper. <laughs> 1%. Wow. 
Oh, that's going to take a minute. Oh boy, this, this is going to take a big minute. <laughs> Please hold. Oh boy, you see that? Um, I want some gas. For whatever reason, I am 65% done. I have no idea if what I'm doing here is actually going to, well, work. As in, if I'm getting all the right bits and pieces placed everywhere. I don't know what happens when I'm out of fuel. Can I still get up on the trailer? I have no idea. But I did find out one thing. If you unload stuff over here on the grass, then most of the sand or most of the... The dirt just kind of disappears, which is wonderful, it makes my life a little easier, but I don't know if that's intended. <laughs> I hope it is. But looks like I have to figure out how to get some fuel here very, very soon, and I'm not sure that I'm looking forward to that. The other thing that I figured out is um, I'm probably digging wrong. What does that mean? I'm probably digging too deep or too much or too something that makes everything take a lot longer than it needs to take, but I don't know. This is kind of something that I signed up for. I wanted exactly this experience. I would really like it if the dual sticks would be supported because this would be a perfect, perfect opportunity to do that. They are just... You have to set every single button on them. And I think at least the stick movement, like the boom, the, the, like the, the normal excavator movement should be automatic on a stick because you don't need any buttons. It's left stick, right stick, do this, do that, done. Should not be complicated, but nope, it's, it's just not, it's not supporting it right. And I don't want to spend time on f just reassigning them, so it's not, it's not, not right yet. I don't know if you can tell, but this is day two of me doing this, uh, new shirt and all that. I got some gummy bears over here to keep me over. Um, it's been, let's see here, 20 minutes today, over an hour yesterday. So a good hour and a half so far digging and it says I'm almost 70% done, which the 70% actually sounds really, really nice. Hey, it's night, perfect. Um, so yeah, there's that. Now, do I have to move before I'm out of fuel or is there something that can actually get me fuel in here? First, let's get some lights on, which honestly, I didn't turn the lights off yesterday, so I don't know why, why the game didn't remember that, but okay, fine. Let's see, is there like a fuel dumper or fuel bowser or something like that? And oh, I have to get, why do I have to get to the store for this? I just want to see if there's a vehicle available. Like this, I, I know that I'm digging around the hole a little bit and it's just doing something a little funky there. That's okay, that's okay, uh, I'll figure it out. Just a, just a little, no, just go to the gas station. There has to be a fuel bowser, and they're, they're just, I want there to be a fuel bowser, please. Okay, enter here, thank you. Then I would like something, there's a truck, that's nice. What do you do? I can rent it for 10% off. Wow, that's cute. Um, no, I I feel like I'm gonna get one of these mobile cranes, uh, probably the big old one, not the little old one. 317, 490,000, that's great. Uh, this is asphalt stuff, this is still asphalt stuff. This is a greater, I was considering getting a wheel loader to see if we can Dig a hole with that. I'm glad I didn't get a compact tractor, some trailers, nothing that carries fuel. Well, I know what I have to do. I don't really want to do it, but... Okay, last few buckets here. This should probably just my last bucket so I can actually move still. And turn you around. Uh-huh. You're gonna drive with the forward and backward, with the reverse controls? Yeah, that's right. Let's get out of this view. Let's get the boom in. Nope. Yes, like that. Up, boom in. 
cool. Boom down and Yeah. That's a spirit. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like that I have to do this. I want a fuel bowser. Give me a fuel bowser, pretty please. That's okay though. I'll I'll survive. Let's get this thing on a trailer and then to the gas station, wherever the gas station is. I have no idea where gas station is. There's one gas station on the interstate. I don't want to drive that far. Camera, you are not helpful in any way, shape, or form. Sorry. Okay, now turn you around. Very good. Uh-huh, that's fine. Uh-huh, that's fine. Get get this thing down and then fuel station. We'll just have to find one that's available. I'm not, a little annoyed that the ramps don't, didn't go all the way down. They should just continue their movement if, if it's just a machine doing something. Uh, ramp. All the way. Nope. It's considering itself that it was out already. That's, that's just lame. I think I'm getting lucky. That looks like a jet fuel station right there. Like it. Now, just have to figure out how to refuel this thing and not get stuck on any of these signs. And I also found a vehicle dealer on the way out. That that may be helpful. Okay. Oh yeah, that's, that's the wrong vehicle. I figured. So, I have to go in here. Then I have to unstrap it even though nothing toggles and have to enter this thing and refuel you is this really necessary i'd argue no do i have to repair this thing probably how much how much is that gonna cost me Eighteen thousand. oh jeez <laughs> that was bad i i was not even mean to this vehicle it's just sitting there honestly so I guess it is what it is, and maintenance and all that. That that felt a little expensive, though. Trailer. Perfect. <laughs> uh, let's get back to this. Very good. Yeah, I don't know. I just spent twenty thousand on fuel and repairs. What repairs did I pay for? It's a it's a it's a machinery that probably never gets repaired in real life. I don't know, like the paint job. I don't care about the paint job. Never. Oh. Red light, save a hundred bucks. Oh, <laughs> um, no, I, I don't think I should have to repair the excavator for digging up a hole. That's what it's made for. And I, I didn't hit anything with the excavator, honestly. It's just, yeah, it feels wrong. And it, it's, it feels like it's already damaged a little bit. No, that's the, that's the truck. That's not the excavator. That's the truck. Okay. I can live with that. That's allowed. Okay, we are here. This better pay well when I'm done with it. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't make a difference, but I would like it to pay nice. Gummy bear. Alright, we're getting really close here to 100% and it should tell me that I'm done here very, very soon. You know what I hope doesn't happen? That all I had to do is just dig up the yellow lines like one bucket deep and that would have been it. That's annoying because that is not what this view is telling me. It tells me to dig down pretty deep in pretty much all locations, but I can see both ways. Also, I'm hoping it doesn't make me clean up all the little things that are not perfectly dig down, dug down. That's English. 100%. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, counts. No, good. Good. I'm happy. I'm happy. We've done it. Should we see what we did? That's a big, 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 big excavator. I don't know why this game does not allow me to turn off the HUD. 
But we built this. Looks beautiful. <laughs> okay, we've waited. I've waited for this for about two hours now. So, reverse out. There's a thing there. <laughs> Not helpful. Not helpful at all. Um, try the other, the other parts of the controls. Very good. I think we can even use the excavator to do some of the um, movement of the of the materials that we have there. But no, 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 no. Okay, unpack construction materials. That I can do, and I can do that right now. I'm hoping that that is something over here. How do I unpack that? Ah, yes. Cool. Okay. Excellent. Oh, look at that! It did it for me! That's lame! Don't do that for me! Let me... And it paid me like 400,000 for that. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that makes me happy. Now we need a bunch of things and um, make things actually happen here. I think what we're gonna do is use the bigger crane because it seems... Whoa. What's happening? Skill and progress and all that stuff. Okay, Crane, you go here. Yes. I would like you out of the way. Very good. Um, I think we're gonna... Should, I, should we use the small one or the big one? Small one or big one? Small one or big one? I think we're gonna use the big crane... Uh, the big truck. Of the big lorry behind it because we need that little extra... I don't know what this is for. I'm supposed to park something there, so I guess you park over here. Will I need this again? Probably not. Does it cost 5,000 a day to have? Yes, it does. But no, I I'm gonna use... It would be nice if that little little lorry can... Uh, little truck can actually have a trailer. But it's okay, it's okay. That's that's not the point of this. Let's do this. Uh, then do ramp, yes. Then figure out where the next... Right here. <laughs> With that in mind, do we even need the big one? Yes, I, I want to use the big one. It's the same crane. It's effectively the same truck. It can just carry a lot more at once. So we're going to go over here, then we take a right, and then we take a right, and then we are there. How do I feel about that? Um, certain buildings are effectively right next door now. It's okay. I, I think they could be a little... F I took the wrong turn, though. <laughs> that's, that's my fault. There we go. Take take another ride. Um, it's okay. I think some of these vehicles, like this vehicle dealer over here, if I would have known that, would I have driven the crane right away? Maybe? Uh, but that would have taken part of the experience away, right? Okay, I need to get in here. This trailer, however, is ridiculously large. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. But I guess all the stuff gets unloaded here, or put out here, so it's back up to camera. No, stop it. Um, we'll put you there, and it should tell me all the things that I need. I can't get in... Ooh. Yay. Collectibles. Two, four, three... I think it's all of these, really. Uh, why remove. One of these... Pellet of PVP, PVC pipes. Sure. Okay. Um, I don't know if this is all I need or if I need more or less, but 21,000, please. Oh, jeez. All the stuff should be here. Forklift. I don't believe any of these items are really on forks. There's just like a couple that are on forks, but most of them really aren't. So let's load let's play the game load the truck oh gosh look at this why why is this so far away let's see i need you to change mode and then i need you to change camera at too close yeah that's that's much better now i can actually see something um uh, okay i don't know what that sound is that sound seems very unnecessary um there you go turn over Yeah, we're not gonna do this thing. Uh, we're gonna do this a little more sophisticated, I think. There's my vehicle dealer. I would like to enter this and then give me 
this guy. I would like to rent you 10% off. I don't know that that matters, but it's almost 10,000 a day, so I hope I get this all done in just one day. That'd be smart. Uh, company, vehicle, this guy, please enter. And there it is. Um, this will be fun. How, how do you look from the inside? Okay, just like you would expect. We see this. Yeah, that's, that's a proper machine. Got some six axle steering. That's that's wonderful. Six wheel, six axle. Eight. Four axle. Four axle, eight wheels. Not six. Six is wrong. Not bad. But this should hopefully make the loading, unloading, and moving things around a little easier. I have no idea if the game is going to expect me to lower anything into the um, into the trench that I built earlier because it didn't do so in the first time. I kind of hope it does, but I really just don't know. But I want to build, I want to drive one of these, and I have some money now, so that's what we're gonna do. Yes, just move a little more over here. I would like to know where all the dirt went that we that we dug up. That that's fine. I uh, hope there's nothing too hard to maneuver around. Right here feels like a good spot. Obviously, I could just put. Do this thing oh i could just put the trailer right next to this but where's the fun on that so um there's nothing else not helping ah ah okay now how do i oh oh it's intuitive it is <laughs> it's a lot easier than i expected but that's good okay i want one of these. Very good. Lift you and move you over here. Let's see. I think it'll be a lot better if I just do this. If I'm higher up. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I, I did not put this in a very opportune place. I can tell you that. <laughs> okay. Move over here. Yeah. If I put the crane a little more in the middle of everything, this will be a lot easier. So now I have to move it in. Don't worry about the swinging, I don't know, 800 pound material piece that I have here. Um, it's fine, it's made for this. Yeah, I'm gonna move the crane. There you go. Uh, reset really quick and then away from this mode. Back up just a tiny bit. Yeah, if, if we are somewhat in the middle of this whole operation, I should have to move the crane a lot less. So let's do this. This is approximately metal, right? Change mode again. It wouldn't let me unload it with uh, like in the normal way, so I'm hoping that's me unload it now. Otherwise, that's that's a little annoying. Nope, doesn't. I don't. I don't see the blue the blue thingies. So I guess I have to do this with the crane. That's that's lame. I want to use the big crane for this. Just let me do the thing that I want to do. Uh, I can I can always just put things on the bottom or on the ground, but hmm. This feels weird. Also, looks like I broke it. I don't know if you can tell, but nothing on my truck bed can be moved. What can I do? Drive mode, reset, light, open, close. Yep, that, that totally did it. I mean, I can see that this is all wrong, but I can't do anything about it. Okay. That fixed it. I was able to remove them by storing them. Um, I'll probably just have them delivered now automatically because this is stupid. Uh, and this is not going to work. Way too far away now. Um, but yeah, it's... Okay, so you, you can... Uh, let's see. You can go to your company. Then go to the warehouse and you see everything that's out here and here. And then as you can see, these guys I moved here. What can I do with these? 
I really don't know. Sir component what? Remove add. What am I doing with them? Uh, but yes, you, you can just click on here and then store them. Then the warehouse, okay. Oh, okay, okay, that's that's nice. So I can do these two, say, just deliver them to a construction site. I already moved them here, so let's just do this. Thank you. And the last thing that I... They should have showed up over there. Where are they? Where are they? I just delivered them to a construction site. That should be here. I am not happy if they are not actually here well we'll see what we'll see what i just actually did there okay so let's move this in a little bit gosh moving this crane is not as easy as i expected it to be but that's fine wrong way aboard <laughs> too light right there yeah and then go down, and then give me a green button. Sure. And then we go over here. And then go down. We'll do that. Yeah, that's that's all nice and easy. Where is the stuff? Do I still have to move it somewhere? That would be interesting. Uh, yes. And then down. There we go. So those are delivered. Now where is the other stuff? Not there. Not there. Oh, there. Oh! Oh, okay, that's interesting. Not what I expected them to do, but that's fine. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with delivering them like this. And I'm maybe even able to move them with a crane. But this is nice. It's just like a little delivery... Delivery thing. Alright, so go up nice and high. And we'll, we'll just let this rope come down really far. There you go. A little higher. Correct direction. There we go. And then we go down. I think this is how you do it on a real construction site. You go up with the crane and just let the, let the hook come down to wherever you need it. But we're not, we're not that concerned about that, are we? It's still flying around way too much to be safe. That's okay. Who's honking at me? There's the last piece. There's a lot. What is happening? <laughs> oh, now I can do stuff. <laughs> oh, gosh. This is, this is, this is just, um, I like it. I actually like it a lot. I know I've been complaining about things a lot, but I'm glad I got this crane out. I think that was very much the right decision. Now I just have to use it. Okay. Let's start on the outside like a normal person would. And then let's be methodical. There. Up. That's a lot of pipes. <laughs> this is great. Okay. Um... Uh, no, up is the wrong way. I need you to go that way. And then... I have to get used to this first. It's all opposite. It's like... It's maybe like playing a piano. <laughs> I want to go down, therefore I have to go out. But I'm not far enough yet. Okay, okay. Now come down. Do I have to turn you? No, I, I would like you to go to the correct one right away. Okay. All right, easy enough. Let's get the next one. So this goes up and this comes down. I think one of those stationary cranes maybe would have been better even in this case because then I can just move the hook around more with a purpose, but I think this is fine too. Now you go down, it should be going right into that hole. Yep, this, this, this works perfectly. Uh, nope. Nope. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah, this is, this is not bad. I will never get used to this crane. When I go up, I go backwards. When I go down, I go forwards. That's just, that's just weird.
Let's work and pack construction material. Where are they? At least it's day again. I guess I'm... Uh, well, is this just going to do auto magic magic again? I'm not a fan of that. I, I know how tedious that other stuff is, but let me do this. Okay, 37% done. This has been two and a half hours so far. Get the cable drums. Uh, they're over here. Where are they supposed to go? The cable drums are right here. Where where do they go? Oh, I've already delivered them. Um, oh, okay. I can do that real quick. I have my doubts that anything is going to go quick, so I, I think we're going to call it quits here pretty soon on, on this episode. Um, and then continue wherever the game takes us next. And it, it's the right call to get that crane for this. Makes makes this whole thing actually possible. You can totally do it with other other means too, but this is much better. Lay cables. Okay, that sounds like I have to go down there and touch some things. Can I jump? Will you let me jump in here? Ah, yes. Very athletic. And then? Okay. Lay cables. How do I lay cables? I kneel down, uh-huh, I dig in the ground, and then cables are laid. Perfect. That's a little questionable, but okay. There's another magic box over here. Let's click the button right next to you, too. Okay, touch it. Look at it. Lay cables. Beautiful. 50% done. Clear the construction site with all the things. Okay, yeah, no, this is what we're going to call it. Um, I clear the construction site, um, and then we'll see what the next things are, because we're only 50% done, and it's called a road construction, which means there should be a lot more stuff to do for us. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back with the second half of this, and we'll make all the money that we haven't made yet, and um, there will be more. I like this. As tedious as it is, I like this. So, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.